Thousands of people are bracing for their power bills after the prolonged heat wave we saw in the past month. So with that, a lot to get to tonight. Thanks so much for being here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. PG&E says it's lowering rates for the summer, but after two hikes earlier this year, many people are feeling the pinch across the region. Your reporter covering El Dorado County, Shelby Riley, gives us a glimpse at how business owners and neighbors there are dealing with the sticker shock. The executive chef at Poor Red's Barbecue says their electric bill is already thousands of dollars a month. It jumped up about $1,000 for June, and he says he's nervous because he hasn't even gotten the bill for July yet. Hey. Out of every dollar that comes in, a restaurant's going to keep about three cents in their pocket. Dean Hyatt, executive chef at Poor Red's Barbecue, says on average their PG&E bill is about $4,000 a month. For June, it jumped up to $5,000. If you budget something for your electricity or your gas, and then you have a heat wave that spikes up, that digs in directly to your, to your pocket. Hyatt says if the restaurant has a high PG&E bill, he knows the customers do too, directly impacting business because people may not want to spend money on going out to eat. But if it is 117 outside, you don't want to leave the house. You're like, I've got to get my car, I've got to cool it down, I've got to spend gas in my car to get to another place. PG&E implemented a 13% rate increase in January, adding about $32 to the average monthly bill. Another increase was implemented in April, which was set to add about $5 to the average monthly bill. A temporary 9% decrease was implemented on July 1st. Paul Moreno, PG&E spokesperson, says they offer multiple payment plans and options, including budget budget billing in which you pay a fixed amount for your energy over a period of a few months uh, so you you know what your payment is going to be each month now this is readjusted after several months Suzanne Goodrich lives in El Dorado County and says for just two people her highest bill was around $800 she says she made the switch to solar two years ago which she says is saving her money each month that's made it's, it's made our life a little bit easier that I know that I'm selling back more than what I'm using and um, so that I don't like getting those big PG&E bills, not at all. 